That is Otis Taylor, blues man and more. Otis Taylor on WNCW, Never Been to the Reservation, from a fascinating album from him. I'm Martin Anderson. Live Studio B sessions are brought to you by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. I'm down here in Studio B with Jake Blunt, who's visiting us. Hey, Jake. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks for ha- thanks for coming by here. You drove down here from uh, Floyd, Virginia. Yes, bit indeed. of a drive, but a beautiful drive. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, can't beat that in the morning light. Yeah, yeah, good. And you are from where? Uh, I'm originally from Washington, D.C., but I live in Providence, Rhode Island these days. All right. I thought you were somewhere up in, in New England, but yeah. you travel around. I, I try to keep up with you on like your Facebook page and all, but you, you get around covering lots of ground. I can't keep up with me either. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, we will try. Um, uh, Jake is playing, uh, I, I can't even think of what, what day it is, but I do believe today is Thursday. That's yes. what my sources are telling me. Uh, tomorrow, though, you're playing uh, at the Davis Theater in Concord. Yes, indeed. And then on Saturday, you'll be at ISIS in uh, West Asheville. And on Sunday, you head to Decatur for a show at Eddie's Attic. Let's hear uh, a tune. It's Jake Blunt on WNCW. <laughs> A sweet sounding banjo here this morning on WNCW is Jake Blunt. Uh, which tune was that? That was a tune called Pretty Little Shoes. I just kind of learned playing music with people. I don't have a, a real academic source for that one, yeah. but it's one of my favorites to play. Yeah, it's a nice melody for sure. Yeah. Um, there are some tunes that, uh, yeah, you've just kind of learned over the years, whether yeah. at Clifftop or some other good old time festival. You don't know much about it, but you just learn how to pick it. And then there are other ones that you have 
dug into over the years in a, in a great academic pursuit uh, in, in college and studied ethnomusicology and such and getting to know the backgrounds on these tunes and the artists. It's really fascinating work that you've done. Uh, where did you go to school? I went to Hamilton College Hamilton, in upstate that's, New York. Yes, yeah. yes. I was just talking about Hamilton College with someone the other day where you could create your own major. When I was in high school, I thought that was just fascinating. Yeah, and, uh, it is It is great. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it was kind of known as the, the place where you could literally major in ultimate Frisbee. But, but really, it was like some serious pursuits that folks uh, have sought, like you. And so what major did you actually kind of create? Uh, ethnomusicology it was, was, that was was my major. The yeah. major, okay. yeah. My so I think you may be thinking of Hampshire College, oh, which right. is not far away. Oh, it's not, um, okay. which has I think less guidelines and okay. less of a strict concentration program than my college does. So we have a thing where basically you have to choose from offered courses in the academic departments, and deans have to sign off on your plan and everything like that. So it's a little bit more involved. Um, but I did wind up just creating something in ethnomusicology out of anthropology and music and American studies courses. Yeah, yeah, and uh, great work you've done on it, and uh, it shows through on your your debut album, your Spider Tales. We were excited to get that one, um, named after Anansi the spider. Yes, I remember studying him years ago in uh, the 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 Ghanaian uh, folklore, and uh, so you've taken a lot of these songs that, that we play a lot of on, on our old-time music programs and such and in jam sessions, but didn't really know the history of some of them, and you've tied them together. You've woven a web of them, if you will, that shows uh, some uh, Black American roots and some Native American roots. Uh, I played uh, that old-timey Gray Eagle tune uh, from nice. it, uh, earlier this morning uh, before looking into it and seeing, oh, so it's it's from uh, someone with the Eastern Band of Cherokees. From yes, Cherokee, from back in the Western day. Western Carolina tune. Yeah, that's great. Um, and uh, congratulations as well on all the awards you've gotten with your banjo work at Clifftop. And Thank you. 2020 was a big year for you. It was kind of a crazy year for all of us, but you yeah. won the, the Steve Martin Banjo Award. Yeah, it was the best and worst of times for me. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Yes, but I, I was super excited to get that letter. Definitely not something that I expected. Uh huh. So uh, yeah, how how were you informed of that? It was like, it's like a letter, or did, did Mr. Martin call you up, or what? Um, basically, some so uh, Jerry from Compass Records reached out to me via email and asked for my mailing address. Presumably, it, it was quite clever honestly because he didn't tell me what he wanted but i think they realized that if we just like reach out to a musician and it's like one of the compass records executives they're just going to give him whatever he wants um so he was like i'd like to send you this copy of a publication can you give me your mailing address i was like sure okay and i gave it to yeah. him and then the publication was not what came yeah um so it it's it's quite clever they have a they have a good system you don't know until until it's happened and I still don't I don't know how you get nominated I don't know what the process is it's very yeah it's cool yeah <laughs> I'll say maybe a bit of a mystery yes and, and always a wonderful surprise uh, we love we love following who the who all the recipients are it's uh, quite diverse um, so had had spider tales come out by then or did that okay yeah that this out. was in the months following spider tales okay. I found out I believe the following fall all right yeah. And it's neat to hear you going in some new directions and such lately as well uh, since Spider Tales. Uh, but I uh, would love to talk more about the record and stuff, such. Uh, but maybe we can get another tune from you. It's Jake Blunt, who's uh, performing tomorrow in uh, Concord at the uh, Davis Theater. The show starts at 8 o'clock. Uh, the Cabarrus uh, County Arts Council, I guess, putting that on. And you're playing Saturday at Isis Music Hall in West Asheville and on Sunday at Eddie's Attic in Decatur, yeah. Georgia. 